Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to a quick, uh, I suppose it's a mini tutorial. I'm just, I uh, have been answering recently a question from one of our Patreon supporters about how to deal with the fact that even when his plane is sharp, it keeps on clogging up with shavings and uh, causing no end of trouble. And uh, I went into great length answering his question on video and thought, do you know what we actually need to do? We need to sit here with a plane and just show you what's up. So basically what is up is that we have uh, an issue, not with the chip breaker, but my gosh, I'm totally scuppered. It's, this isn't a chip breaker, this is a cap iron. Not with the cap iron, what I've just done here is the exact opposite of what I did in the other video where I was talking about the cap iron as if it was the chip breaker. Now I'm talking about the chip breaker as if it's a cap iron and I'm just confused. I think I need to go home and have a quiet little weep. Ignore the cap iron. This isn't really what the issue is. The issue is the chip breaker is not working properly with the blade. And uh, this is a good example. This is a, a plane that I have not restored yet. Lovely old early 1920s or so Stanley uh, with a Marple's blade. But um, I'm going to just quickly be naughty and take that apart like that. What is going wrong is that the chip breaker, which is this bit with the curve in it, is not connecting with the blade properly. In fact, as is the case with this one, it's rocking. There's a gap. It's touching it in the middle, and there's a gap. And if that happens, uh, wood can get in between the, the blade and the chip breaker, start clogging up, and it's not breaking the chips as it's supposed to, it's eating them. And this is bad. So you have several things you can do. First of all, you need to know that your, your, the blade itself is actually flat and square, which is rather important. And then you need to make sure that this bent bit of the chip breaker is evenly bent and therefore flat. And uh, once it's flat, you put it on the blade and bolt it down, and then it does its job. So very quickly, in this case, I think it doesn't actually need a hammer of any sort. Uh, I have been known to get a large chunk of wood and uh, very carefully peen over the edge um, until it is fairly accurate. On, in the worst of cases, you will have to do that. And it's, it's malleable iron, it's not too hard. And that will, that will work quite nicely. But um, in this case, I'm quite lucky in that it's relatively flat, it's just not quite perfect. So what I've got here is a fantastically made, wonderful Crimson Guitars leveling beam. And then very carefully, I'm basically flattening this, uh, this area. Now the reason I'm using a leveling beam rather than a sharpening stone or anything like that uh, is simply to advertise the fact that we make leveling beams and that they're incredibly useful. Uh, no, it's because this is coarser. Uh, I could use a, a leveling, uh, leveling file. I could use a leveling file as well. I could use a sharpening stone uh, it would just take a little bit longer. So use what you have to hand as long as it's nice and flat. Now I'm being careful to mirror the angle that was already in place because what we want to do is the very the leading edge has to be pushing down on the front of the blade. So uh, if that's not happening, if you've got the angle wrong, then you're just exasperating the problem. And that is uh, annoying. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I should be working on a harder surface, like a workbench, without something soft on it. So go in, double check that I've got the right thing, that I'm not creating a gap there. And from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, something else that can happen is that you don't have enough of an angle there. And when you put the nut, the bolt in, sorry, it's not actually holding the chip breaker down and uh, you just don't have enough tension there to actually keep it held down. And uh, that is something that does happen and you need to watch out for. Now, I'm not gonna do this entire restoration here because, well, the blade's not sharp and the rest of the plane has to be cleaned up. One final thing that you need to be aware of is that the, the gap between the leading edge of your chip breaker and the sharp business end of your blade needs to be very small. Uh, if you have less than a millimeter, I tend to go for about three quarters of a millimeter of a gap between, of flat blade there. That means that the chip breaker is doing its job and breaking the chips. Now, what happens is as you go through, through the wood, you, you lift up, how can I best do this? Here we go, let's find a piece of copper, because I'm in a copper period, and it always happens. Um, you go through, pretend the copper here is a uh, piece of, uh, is a, a shaving coming up, and the chip breaker pushes it off and snaps it and breaks it out of the way. Uh, now, if you don't have the chip breaker, what happens is that the shaving, especially if you're taking a, a bigger shaving, will actually break into the wood and cause tear out which is even more unfortunate than uh, whatever it was I mentioned earlier that was unfortunate. I have a short memory. So uh, there we go. You want, a, you want the chip breaker really close to the edge of the blade and uh, you want everything to be solid. If there isn't enough pressure pushing down, you're in trouble. If there isn't a, uh, if you don't have a sharp blade, you're in trouble. And if the chip breaker isn't flat to the blade, you are also in trouble. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and uh, consider supporting our Patreon. That uh, really, well, <laughs> it really helps keep the, uh, the videos coming. And, uh, and most importantly, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. I'm now desperately hoping that the fact that I didn't turn my phone off before this hasn't, I'm hoping it hasn't caused any audio issues because, well, if it has, I'm going to be re-recording this entire video. And that sucks. More than a little. See you soon. Goodbye.